this time I thought I was protecting you, but you were protecting me. That's all I ever wanted to do since I first saw you. So why'd you keep it a secret? Hi, I'm Tate. I'm dead. Wanna hook up? I don't think so. It's almost tea time. Of course it is. My little beauty queen, how foolish of me. Let's go. Time to sleep. Perchance to dream. For in that sleep of death, what dreams may come. Why? <laughs> you know, my wife Constance is quite the temper. If she catches us, we. Yeah. But she never does. Hey, you want anything from the kitchen? I'm Constance Langdon. And this is my fucking house. Bottle of whiskey and a fanny chaser. <laughs> Ooh, that's what I call a bon voyage. I woke to find myself surrounded by my precious children. Some spirits in the house are angry and vengeful and eager to inflict their fate on others. But many of us are innocent, kind, blameless victims at the hands of another. And we don't want to see more suffering in this house. I'm rotting from the inside out. What's happening to me? <laughs> All right. A gazebo, Ben? Not even a decent headstone? A gazebo? You thought I was gone, so you just thought you could throw me away? Like I didn't matter? Like I never even existed? Have your wife stop pushing until I say so. Ben, can you hear me? You have to stop pushing. Is everything all right? She's bleeding. I have to stop the bleeding. She's going into shock. I can't stop the hemorrhaging. What is that? <laughs> uh, looks to me like an exit wound. My guess is you ate a bullet. And by the looks of those clothes, it was a long time ago. Why would I do such a thing? Hi. Hi. Love the house. So much potential. Thank you. I'm Chad Warwick. This is my ball and chain. Patrick. Welcome. I think something terrible might happen to me. I'm not quite certain. I, it's a strange feeling. An endless foreboding, like a dream I can't wake myself out of. Excuse me, ma'am. I don't want to bother you, but I'm hurt and needing some help. Look what he did to me. Look what he did to me. They're here to help us. I forgot how painful this is. Hey, man, um, have I made the news? The news? Oh, God. <laughs> Maybe you could snag me some clippings. You know, news articles about me. Just thinking about starting a little scrapbook. Thanks. <laughs> Margaret and Angela. I found them hiding down here. Sweet kids. Lorraine. I don't think I've ever seen Margaret take to anyone so quickly. Why am I seeing you now? You're ready now. What's happening? I don't feel right. You didn't have to kill them. I know you. This isn't who you are. Are you gonna kill us again? Can we please kill her now? Yeah, how long do we have to wait? You've got all the time in the world. So we can only kill her once, but we can torment her and make sure she doesn't sleep at night for a very long time because she'll never really know. Is today the day they finally decide to do it? Is today the day they finally get their revenge? Is that really how we want to spend our one night out a year? 
Getting revenge on the bitch who murdered us? Um, yeah. I have found a way to get some fun and relaxation while I'm here. I'm working with the other therapist who's trapped here on a book for all of us. Wow. Can we talk about what's important here? You know what? I want the name of the other therapist who is dead in here. You're terrible. You're gonna have to hit Home Depot and pick up some lime, bitch. I made a list of what we need. I don't understand why we didn't remember being murdered. It's a very traumatic experience to be murdered so violently in your own bedroom. It's not uncommon for a person to repress that memory as a coping mechanism. A coping mechanism? We are dead. Can't we at least be liberated from the worst parts of being human when we die? You're not gonna do shit. I know her. She's a ghost here. She's... she's mean. So what? So are we. Not like me. Stay away from her, or I swear I'm gonna go turn this house into a new circle of hell for all of you. I was right here. I wanted to come. I swear, I couldn't leave the house. Stop it! You're lying. You're on drugs, I can tell. Tell me what kind, right now. Tell me! I'm dead! Don't you get it? When you die in this house, you don't get to leave. That's why you need to go and take him up somewhere safe. I wonder, how is your adjustment going? I have to say one of the hardest things is watching Ben. Do you want him to see you? Is that what's going on? Are you fighting the desire to appear? No, I do not want him to see me. I absolutely do not want him to see me or Violet. Because if he sees us, then he's going to want to stay here. He has to leave this house and raise our baby. Is that my baby? <laughs> I thought he was so warm. Nearly. She made one tiny little cry and then passed on. Mama's gonna buy you a mockingbird. Dad. Well, that's all very touching. <laughs>